So let's let's dive right in. Um, so today I want to discuss four questions and hope you walk away with answers uh, to all of these. So first, I want to discuss uh, what is sustainable packaging um, and what are the trends in uh, sustainable cosmetics related to packaging, and how can we integrate um, these uh, sustainability concepts into product development? And finally, what are some current innovative products um, that you can lean on for inspiration? And uh, since my whole focus is sustainability, I love this quote uh, that the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. I see sustainability as that thousand mile journey. Um, it's long, but uh, together we can uh, we can all get there. Yeah. So let's start with sustainable uh, packaging and why is it important. Uh, to begin, let's discuss a little bit of definitions. So sustainability, sustainable packaging, anything sustainable has become like a buzzword um, and everyone has their own definitions for it. Uh, I like the Oxford Dictionary definition for sustainability, which is the avoidance of the depletion of natural resources in order to maintain an, an ecological balance. <clears throat> and sustainable packaging is packaging that optimizes performance and cost but also taking into account materials, transportation, energy use, and the entire product life cycle. So the key thing here is um, the product life cycle and thinking about materials um, throughout and how materials move throughout the entire life cycle of individual products and companies and our lives. Uh, so before we dig in too deeply, I want to cover a couple of definitions, which I'm hoping a lot of you have heard about or used or seen on packaging either as uh, consumers or developers of products. Um, so first, uh, recycled and recyclable, these tend to be used almost interchangeably sometimes. Uh, they are very different though. Recycled refers to the uh, content of the materials or of the components, saying that it is made out of recycled, uh, uh, yeah, out of recycled resin, versus recyclable refers to the end of life process that a product can easily be broken down into uh, commonly recyclable materials. And then we have reusable. This tends to be a little bit of an umbrella term for a lot of um, other re's. Uh, so the refill and the repurpose, uh, basically that a product or a component can be, um, can be reused a number of times uh, or even upcycled into a different use. And then there's two key kind of nature or uh, nature-based terms um, one is biodegradable. So this again has to do with the end of life of a product saying that it can be decomposed by bacteria or other living organisms. And we have plant-based, which uh, refers to the material that something is made from saying that it's made from uh, some sort of plants or vegetation. So not all plant-based products are biodegradable. And in a lot of cases, plant-based products are, or plant-based materials are mixed with other more normal plastic fossil fuel-based resins. Um, so those are also not necessarily interchangeable. Um, okay, so what we are here to talk about today is the sustainable materials and sustainable packaging. And everyone always asks like, what is the best material that I can make a product out of uh, to make it sustainable? Everyone's always looking for like that one material. Uh, so I have bad news. There is no one size fits all or a magic solution to make a product sustainable. Um, there are a lot of different things that we need to consider in order to determine that a material is sustainable. And this has to do with um, a few different criteria of how a product is used. Um, is it uh, even used daily? Is it used weekly? Uh, how do consumers interact with the product? Um, how long does it need to last? Does it need to last a month or um, or three years? For example, like paper is a material that a lot of people find is very sustainable. But if you need a product that lasts years, paper probably isn't the right material to use because it's not as durable as plastic even. Um, so you end up making more products from paper to fulfill the same need as maybe one plastic product. So that kind of reduces that environmental benefit. Um, the other thing is we, uh, we have to think about the product end of life. So what happens to the product once we're done with it? How is it disposed of? Um, that impacts uh, the material, the sustainability of the material as well. And the other thing is the global footprint. A lot of the products we use have a lot of different touch points around the world. Um, so thinking about where we're sourcing materials from has an impact on that on the sustainability of that as well.